I'll, I'll, I'll thank uh, Wayne, Gary and Edgy for coming along today. Um, so, so we've got some questions. We don't know where uh, Goody and uh, Wayne, uh, Goody and Edgy Edgy. quite well, so this part, um, you could give us a bit about your background, Gary, we'll, we'll sort of, we know you're sort of trapped with SC United, but a good bit more <laughs> information, cheers. Um, football career, should we start with, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Um, football career, obviously, all my life. Um, Port Vale as a youngster, Man City as a youngster, um, obviously didn't cut the mustard, if you like. Um, ended up at Northwich Victoria. <clears throat> Spent two years there with Sammy Mack in the white side. Hyde United and then ten years at Trafford, uh, 16 with the management side of as well. Barring that, you know, that's, that's where we are at the minute and, and that's what we're doing. Well, but, um, how are you finding life at Ramsbottom? Does it differ a lot from, I'm assuming it differs from SC United because of the yeah, it differs in good ways um, from FC United because, you know, um, they do what they do, they have their own style, um, I have my own style, um, football wise that is, playing wise, um, so it, it differs but it's very enjoyable, it's great to get back in the job, um, good to get amongst the boys again, play wise, um, got a great team in Edgy and Goody, you know, Goody's been with me, well I've known him 25 years, <coughs> not only uh, my best mate, you know, best man, last year at the wedding, so um, trust him for a lift, played against Edgy, he's kicked me, he's elbowed me a few times uh, on, the, on the last 20 years, so um, I'm fully aware of Edgy, um, but brilliant to come in and to have two guys with such knowledge, and uh, knowledge of the club especially, um, knowledge of football, which makes the job even, I won't say easy, but you know, it makes it easier. Yeah. If we just go back to one of the questions I want to, I'll just ask one more and then a lot of other people yeah. start asking then. Uh, what's about your style of football? Because from up to now it seems like you, you're like a, a shorter path, like the beautiful game as I call it, rather than the Yeah, I, I mentioned it um, last week on, on the interview. Um, like, we, we do have a certain style of football and that's to get it out from the keeper. Keeper ideally is a sweeper. Um, out from the back to the midfield and, and get it up forward and obviously score goals is the main game. But um, there is certain style of play that we will be doing <coughs> once we get all the right people um, in the right positions, which is going to take time, I won't lie. You know, it's, it's, um, we're in a difficult position in the league. Um, <coughs> And people coming up to Christmas time, um, do they want to jump ship? Well, I'm not too sure about that. Or, you know, do they want to come to Ramit with them being in the, in the position we're at? Well, you know, that's that's my job and, you know, not bad with the old mouth. So, yeah. hopefully we bring a few in and, and, and we get back or, or get to the style of play that we have in play. Um, is there any news on other on the <laughs> Last week, yeah, we've had a couple of signings. I was in the Trafford Centre yesterday. Um, we've just signed a guy called Kate You're Coppin. Cheap on Black Friday. Say again, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I weren't buying. I weren't buying. I certainly weren't buying players. Um, uh, just signed a young man um, from Ashton United, Kate Coppin. He's electrifying pace, left hand side, play number 10 or right hand side, or up top if you like. Um, be a great addition to the squad. First of all, I like the pace off the whip, so we can get ideally into the box and score goals. And he'll he be a good addition once he settles in. Guy's character, which I said last week, is massively important in the dressing room. Character, you know, the, the, the dressing room as it stands now is, is relaxed, it's fine, everybody knows the jobs that they need to do. Um, so he, he's the first one yesterday and we've just signed uh, Naya Bayunu from um, FC United in the centre out. Um, we've signed that, we've done that deal this morning so we will be even stronger. What age? I'm not going to repeat the name yet. Uh, Naya Bayunu is 24. Um, I've had him since 17 when we, when we were at Trafford together. Um, brought him all the way through so he's well aware of the position and, and, and what we want of him. If we're going back to how we play style of play, he's, he knows he's just slotting. 
Um, so it would be a really big addition. Big is, character. Is he a, to quote, I think I put it on the phone and a couple of others, a big airy ass defender? Which... <laughs> I don't think he's got an airy ass at all. I want to check that one out, but no, no, he's, um, no, he's a no nonsense defender. Yeah. Um, he's an intelligent kid. His heart's in the right place, uh, and he's an also, which is massively important. He's a roll of sleeves and let's have a go, and he's a winner. Um, but he'll be another massive addition to, to the team. To go there, as well, I think some of you know me already. Um, to survive this year, yeah, I think it's going to be a man with a cast. I don't envy it, but I hope that the lads that are with you yeah, will keep together regardless of what happens. Yeah. We've got to finish fifth through bottom. Yeah. That's the league table that they look at. We don't look above fifth through bottom. That's right. the only thing that they need the to know we're focused about. Right. If we now, win, Grantham unfortunately won last week, which helped us in one respect, but put yeah. us in another. So we've got to get some points yeah. on the board. On the board. On the board. I've got a question for you. Yeah. Going back to what you're saying, I was at the game last week and I've been to obviously nearly every game this season. And it's, it's him. I'm going back to what some of the fans were saying last week and they've got a really valid point. Do we make sure we sign players that are only 5 foot 3? Yeah. 5 foot 4? We don't sign anybody that's under 6 foot. No, I'm not knocking, I'm really here because they're good players. But someone said last week, and you mentioned it last week, you probably mentioned it last week, we don't jump. Well, let, let's go on to let's let, let's go up. Are we going on size? Let's go on size. Yeah, right? because right, let, I'll go on size. I'm here. Who's the best player in the world? Yeah. Messi. Messi. Yeah. Who's the second best player in the world? Ronaldo. Aguero. Who's the third? Best <laughs> Got a job, they're all athletes. We're playing the games about athletes now. No, no. but they don't have a lot of them about that. Yeah, exactly. No, no but I look at I look at the team that we have. I mean George gotta be six foot. Six foot two. George, big George gotta be. Posh has gotta be five eleven. You know, we what's six, six foot. The reason we've got it also, we've got to also. Last week we, you know, that game play. last week, we didn't win one. We did the exception of the two centre half. We didn't win one header on there. No, you're quite right. How many headers? Yeah, you analyse games. Listen, and this is coming from a fan as well. How many headers did we win last week? How many headers did we win last week? I don't know, I'll just get the book out. I don't do headers. We don't do headers. You put the ball straight, you know, going for the second ball. Well, that's the same as what we're saying now. We don't get a chance to second ball because we're not winning the headers to, to get the second ball. And if you look 90% of the So in what area, what area are you looking at specifically You're looking at the middle of the pitch? Yeah. Yeah. Anywhere. In the middle of, anywhere. Midfield to forward line, I don't, I don't Would you prefer us to have a team full of six foot players and just... No, it's not a case of that. It's not a case of that. It's not a case of that. It's everything. It's not bottom what says yes, someone can get up and win anything. Yeah, we never won. I don't think we did. We win anything. Yeah, that's what I can recall. Well, it's actually the two centre half. And that, and that, for all the points it gives you now, on the attack right away. Yeah, the centre half would be fantastic. But what gets me, though, and he's right what he said, what we said was, and we talked about this last week, playing on the ground, we're brilliant. We're absolutely brilliant. And you're right what you're saying, people not doing the jobs, you're quite angry with them. All of a sudden, they want to pump it up at you. I know a chance of winning it. Do you agree? Do you think we're talented? Do you think what? Do you think we're talented? Do no, 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 I'm not saying that. No, do you think that. we're talented? Do you no, just to get the ball along and chase it? No, I don't think we do. No, 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 what I'm saying is no, at least I'm being honest. No, I'm not saying it again, I need just answer your own question. We you played football, football. Yeah. the first half, you're right, we should have been out to side, because I thought we were brilliant. Second half, we did the things wrong. I do you know, you're not going to get 90 minutes of doing everything right. Now, we've got, probably, the majority of players in the camp at the minute, Average age 19. Now, no matter what team you've got, no matter who you are, whether you're Man United, Man City, Barcelona, if you've got kids in your camp, which we have, which we yeah. have to do, yes, time, we have, yeah. Yeah. then you're going to get mistakes. Of course we now, are. you've got to also look down the line there. That's progression. That's They've got to progress the game now. Maybe we didn't win three headers there and get the second ball there, but you know, you've just said it yourself. When it's down and we play like we're putting into the players' yeah. heads, what are the other team saying then? You know, 
How do we add the list? How do we add the list? I, I, I don't do think that cost us last week, did it? Did not win another fight. I think what they picked off us. I think we'd have won. If we'd have put our chance, then the chance... Then, 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 yeah, it should have been 2 nil. I'm not just talking about last week, I'm talking about in general. Don't get me wrong, Gary, I think we're improving every week. Yeah, yeah, slowly. Yeah, yeah, there's yeah, definitely yeah, improvement yeah, there all the time. Yeah, yeah. It was just a glaring one. Listen, we're, we're, in the middle, we're in the middle of a process, yeah. aren't we? Yeah. Yeah. And we have got young players. We, 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 we had to get lads in at, at a time when things were tough. We had players with us who weren't good enough for the level, and we know that. You know. So we brought lads in, the young kids, some of them, the, the pro footballers. And they're still learning the trade, they're still learning what the league football's all about as well. So they're coming in and they're having to adjust to things and they, they will make mistakes, you know. In the second half, yeah, we probably went a bit deep and we didn't pick up enough of second balls. But that's when they've got to sign it, kind of know how to get through that spell in the game and be able to come out of the and say, well, we should have got, you know, we've got a point out of that. But we ended up coming out with nothing off one corner. You know, they had a free kick, well, two free kicks, they had a post with one, they scored the other and they had a corner. That's pretty much, other than maybe one or two half chances, that's all they had all game. They had a couple when we were chasing the game. Yeah, 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 at the death, they've had, they've had a couple, but, you know, in general, they've not had, they've not, they've not dominated the game, they've not, you know, pulled us apart, we've been fairly solid. So it is about, at the minute, we're in this position where we're trying to get lads in who we know will help us be you know, stronger, more experienced. Cage 26, they've both been around no need all the time. These lads will come and work just like the lads on the pitch. They'll help in the dressing room as well. They'll be able to talk to these young lads like, you know, like me and everything else. So it, we are in the middle of trying to change things around a little bit, and it doesn't happen like that. You know, it does take a little bit of time. Well, the last few games, I think we've got a chances away. We've been winning the yeah. game. Yeah. 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 The other thing is, yeah. as well, is whatever, yeah. 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 the other thing as well is whatever way you choose to play, whether we choose to play, we go right, we'll get out, and we'll get another six foot Brisbane in, and we'll smash it one. That will have strengths. Teams that we play against have got strengths. Teams play like that. Of course they do. We have got strengths playing the game. We, we, we get results with it. What, what, we have to understand that. What we have to do is get our, our players to the point where they're, they're mentally strong enough to keep doing what they're good at. Mm -hmm. and, and this has been something that we've, uh, yeah, we've said this all season. Yeah. You know, from, from pre-season, you know, training, stuff like that, spells and games. We've been, we've been really good at times. Yeah, but what we've not done is consistently doing it through a whole of the game. You've got yeah, to have a spell where you're under pressure yeah. and you've got to see that out. We now look like we can actually deal with that a little bit better than from maybe six, seven weeks ago. But if we don't play to our strengths, we're going to be in trouble. Like a team that smashed it long enough in trouble and they don't do that. Yeah, I, I, I think it's good for everybody. We don't want that. We like yeah, the way that team's playing. Yeah. Yeah. But when we're playing well, it's exciting to football, but we're just second out. We've got, to, we've got to do better than that. And do it. So we're doing 45 minutes, we've got to do it for 60 minutes, then we've got to do it for 7 minutes, then we'll, and we will do. We'll, we'll get to a point where eventually it's like we'll go right, minutes. but we'll just keep doing that, we'll keep doing yeah. that, we'll keep doing that. Yeah. I think, <coughs> I said, I've already said it's going to be a tough fight when we back to the end of the season. But I think the future's bright. If anybody has had a chance to look at the under 21s, yeah. I've, seen, yeah. Yeah, I've seen some of the lads there, and as long as we can keep them on side, yeah. we've got a yeah, yeah, future yeah. there. Well, that's the best thing. Well, that's the best thing. I can vouch for one thing that all Wayne goes to the only 21 games, don't you? Know, I watched the 21s. Yeah, and, and again, don't, don't get carried away because as a bunch, they are good. They need testing a little bit more as a, as a group, and we've had one or two come through training with us. What they, what they need to do is, is progress on and get a little bit closer to being, having, having a chance of being selected for the first team because they are still very young. Most of those are 18, 19, right? believe it. They're not passing the 21s, and they're doing great in the league grid. Absolutely, 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 absolutely. There is, and, and that's something that that's something that, that, that you know I'm certainly Gary is. I, you know I'm really keen on that, and that we develop our own players. We're the Trafford. We're not a club here that can just go out and spend two, three hundred pounds a week on a player. No, we wouldn't. We well, wouldn't anyway. But if we if we can progress a player on. And, you say there's one or two that have been involved training wise or probably involved on Tuesday and stuff like that, then absolutely I'm, I'm totally with that. And it's not just that, I mean, I think even from the junior teams, we need to get a bit closer to them and it's progressive too. I think we need to get a lot closer to them, junior teams. Yeah, yeah, yeah. These two lads here, they wrote on the front. Yeah, oh, yeah. Really yeah. Brilliant, yeah. this guy. You go for younger ones again, under 11s. Mm -hmm. They went to Barcelona, they played. 
and they put Barcelona yeah. Academy. Yeah. That was the only one we got beaten. Well, well, I mean, that's we got, be... well, we, we've had a conversation about that. I know I'm just saying them to come through, lads. They've, they've got to bring them through. It's got to be focused as a club, that, though. Yeah. You know, it's yeah. got to go right. through. Well, we have an academy. We have an academy. Yeah. 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 I think that there's a sense of pride when you see a Jay Cliff out on the pitch as well, someone who, you know, has come from. Is there anybody in that team yeah. that would come training with us, like, say, say, take one or two? to the first team we train and then at least something out on the day can you Oh we did that on well, me. I was that. Dan uh, and Ash got trained last week with us. Zach <coughs> trained with us on a regular basis. The Cameron, uh, I'd like him to come do training. He's got others that I'd like to do training. But some of them are not ready. Right. Some of them are not ready. Can't all come. But also, on a training day, especially your Thursday, the, the guys in and around there at that age, from the youth or whatever, you know, Thursday's a set piece day. That's where everything's gone through then. If I'm too cold, cool, yeah, for Saturday for there. So, you know, it's limited. You know, we're on a Tuesday, we're on a Thursday. So, we've also got to look at that. And we've also got to look at as well. We've got a young team, that is. Anyway, we are a very young team, you know, so. Are we going to add lads to that? We were, we were still young, we were, you know, the bottom of the league at the end of the day as well. You know, it's putting a lot, maybe a bit too much pressure on them. You mid table, you're comfortable, you can introduce them a little bit, and but you know, you you, you have play, to you play you on keep them with a young team. Pardon? You play on keep them with a young yeah. side. Yeah, yeah. The twenty ones is going to be more important next season. I'm not saying it's not important now, but the twenty ones next season is going to be more important because. For me, every player in the first team needs a shadow, which we, we come before and needs proving, you know, if, if you've got a rocket up somebody's bottom, then they're going to have to do it every week, because if it ain't, this guy knows the script now, and he can jump in the slot, and that's the way we're going to do it. We always try and mirror a player, and that's why so many in, so many out, so many in. We can get a double team, if you like, get yeah, left back, centre out, centre out, centre out. You're not doing your job. Ideally, in the ideal world, have you come, have a look at rest, have a look at it, you're in. And that's in the ideal world. Just, and I don't think we are going to go down, I still have faith that yep. we can stay up. But if we, if we were to drop down the division this season, would you be confident of keeping these lads together? together yeah. I know a lot of the, the success we had under the previous manager, we won't start mentioning the names, but that was a lot of it was to do with the team spirit. I know I edgy play for that team, yeah, yeah. So, um, so we seem to be building that back up. Well, we always have a conversation. I mean, edgy obviously new into it now, and We've done it for I don't know how many years together, I mean, um, but to keep a team together for a year, two years, is, is essential. You need to do it, otherwise you, you're chopping and changing, that's happening, this is happening. And we found, proven, if you do keep them together, hence Trafford Football Club, we took them up the league yeah. on a very, very low budget. If we wouldn't have had the players that we had and kept them together, then we wouldn't have done that, it's as yeah. simple as that. And that is our aim to do what we're doing here. Based on that, based on what you're saying there about keeping them lads together for two years, yeah. would it not be to a certain extent if we were putting them players on contract? <laughs> if, you put a, if you put a player on contract, straight away. It's only a question. I yeah, don't know. No, I'll answer it. Not a problem. If, you if I put a player on contract, players. see today out there. Yeah, I'm not the game player. You're not playing. I get that. The budget's not yeah. that big. So, to put a player on contract, for me personally as the manager, you'd have to earn a contract. Yeah. You have to stay within your contract. Yeah. And you have to play by the rules. It's as simple as that. You have to be a leader of men. So, from start to finish, you need to, if you're going to put them on a contract, they need to be right on board, right on side with you. Um, but to give contracts out willy nilly, no, it's not happening. I'm not expecting it to happen. Yeah. <coughs> you know, See what Harry says yeah, then. I'm just saying about that. <laughs> so, you want that nucleus for two years. <coughs> well, what are the issues that you have? Yeah, do you do it or do you not do it and then maybe lose them? Well, the point is, is what I'm saying is, you don't panic. Because yeah. no one's indispensable. You don't have loads of players on contract. There's always you know, you've never, you've never, Well, you've never had loads of players on contract. Even when well, eh? Yeah. 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 No, I only have two. But we have Jordan and Shen. Yeah. 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 yeah, So yeah. Yeah. when I was there as a player, we never had a many players on contract. So it didn't, you know, necessarily mean anything. Like that. It's not really, you know what I mean? Just a question. Yeah, I know, yeah. It's fine. I understand why you've asked it. But I think 
if lads are happy to play in and they're getting the money, don't think you know, you're playing in anyway. Yeah, yeah. Playing anyway, yeah. yeah. You, you just call, you can call you yourself you more problems just, by doing it. I'll go back to the, the, the question earlier. Really, it's it's about cool. getting a group of lads that want to be together because at the end of the day, we're spending an awful lot of time together on that coach and travelling, and especially on your feet, you know, it, it's tough going back and you will get that, you'll get a bit of that, but, you know, if you get the right group together, we'll go through it together. And they need to go through this type of thing to become a stronger outfit for later on. Some of the young, I mean, the players like Matt Crawford, I think he came from Curtis and Ashton and uh, Sam Grinshaw and Potsman. Are they fully with us now? They're, 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 they're not going to go back no, to the top of that. Really, really. They're not on the contract there, so they signed for us. Right, always, right. Always, always, when people say, oh, we've got so many long players. The only long players we've got are the, 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 the three yeah, players. Yeah, they all it, They're on sort of dual registration, because obviously Curtin are in the league. Yeah, he's lost yeah. So they don't have to be released off the form or anything like that. Right. So they are, they're enjoying it, they're happy to be here, they're playing, so... Yeah. Yeah, yeah, so they're yeah. happy, you know, they are enjoying it, yeah. Yeah. and that's the most important thing they want to be here, so that's what we're doing. Yeah, definitely, yeah, we're all on. It is working progress, you know, it is working progress. We've seen the improvements, yeah. definitely. Yeah. Rome yeah. wasn't built yeah. in a day, but no. it, it's our job, yeah. as the three of us, to, to bring the right player in. Um, as I mentioned it again, like I say, last Saturday, there's no point in bringing a, an old pro in. Right, I want that morning, uh, who's, who knows all the football, if he says something, you don't really want to hear it. If he says something, if I say it, you don't want to hear it. The young kids have got egg like sponges and they're learning, so they yeah. rather work with that and progress them, keep them together for a year, two years, and who knows where you're going. What do you think as a group, anyway? When, as, as fans, what do you think of the football so far, and where do you think we'll finish? Uh, I think we'll finish fifth, sixth, from bottom. I think the football's improving week on week. I think we're lacking confidence at the moment. I think when we didn't happen last week, we got a penalty. But I think we're uh, when we're letting a go, with the young the lads, the heads are going down. So that's because we are where we are. Yeah, you know, I think one week life. And we could go on and have five or six wins in a row. There's so we'll get a spanking soon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's two teams. It's a bit like what you said it out earlier. It took like 20 minutes, 30 minutes, 50 minutes. Mm. Yeah, that's, you know, 60 minutes. Yeah. Not done a full match yet, not done 90 minutes yet. I think the more, I, think, I disagree yeah. with that. I think, uh, I think this is before you came, we played Blyde here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Blyde, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To go toe to toe with the team, which I, I think will probably win the league. That's been a very excellent team, And they're a good, very good, good side. And on the night, we probably deserve some yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. That's been, the, that's been the one performance where I think for 90 minutes, yeah. we will be on the pitch. Yeah. But we will have days where, you know, we will we want our performances and we might not get the result, but it's just about sticking together and going through that. And then the week after, or the Tuesday, or the Saturday, we go again, you know, and, and that's the way it's going to be. You know, it won't, it won't happen like that. We won't just result after result after result. We will, we, will, we will pick up parts, we will win games, but we won't win every game up to down the end of the season. We've got to be realistic about where we are. I mean, we're up against it's a tough league, you know, it's a tough league with some experienced teams out there, so. You need to win half the games. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's, it's that's all right. I have that in there all the time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, it's going to be all I can say to, to, to be honest, you know, Round it up in a nutshell, it's going to be a roller coaster ride. Uh, we are where we are. He's massively experienced, he's massively experienced, and I won't even say hopefully we will guide us to a safer place. Um, everybody is, the backing's brilliant. You know, I, I was listening to you shouting last week at Ailes Owen, which was the coldest day ever, by the way, and you were still out there, and we, we fully respect that, and thank you for coming all the way there. and. It is noted, you know, we can hurt you, and it must affect the players sometimes, you know, like, yeah, well, there is some of us here, and, and we're doing this, and, and you know, it, it, it will change into a better place. And all I will say, and all I will say, seriously, these three lads, my, my form is constantly going, honestly, and Tony will tell you exactly the same, I'm constantly all at it, have we got anything, have we got anything else, have we got anything? Can you check about this? Can you check out this? I will tell you now. Man. Listen, this is straight up. These lads here are constantly on the floor. We need to look at this play. Are you already doing it? Yeah, I am. They're always checking things and making sure they can play, making sure they've got international clearance before the game. 
and this is on a, this is on a Saturday's game and they're ringing up on a Tuesday to find out if he's going to play or not. Well, well I know there has been one or two fans who have been negative, but I, I know that <coughs> they are in the minority, I think. Yeah. The majority of fans. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 You know. We all know you, you are a footballer, because we do know. There was no one in this room. No, no, yeah. we fully, I, we, I think we're all quite happy with him. What do you think of my half time team talk about two weeks ago? You, on the website. <laughs> you know what? You weren't I read that, and you was pretty close to what we said. Actually, you were very close. So, yeah, I did read that. Was he was he in one time? Was he in one time? There was no bad language. There was no bad language. Yeah. 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 One thing about interest: who's the best team you've seen this season in this league? Why? 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 I yeah. thought Blind as, as a unit yeah. were, were really strong all over the pitch. Hold on, we've got a second of it, who do you think? Sorry, Andy, was my conversation? No, no, no. I, I thought I thought Blind as a whole unit, the way they were set up, the way it's played, you could, you could see that from the sidelines, were a really strong outfit. But as Eddie said, I think in fairness, Tactically that night, we got it absolutely spot on as well to, to, to nullify them. All right, they didn't close to the end, but their keeper made at least five yeah, saves, yeah, yeah. Man, the man, great the saves. Yeah. And you can take it from the Salt Sometime manager, but their manager is the experienced guy, he's not that. And he, he, the first thing he said to me, he shook me out after the game, he said, You deserve to win that game. And we did. And, and for me, we said in the dressing room, if we can compete at that level, it's not just a one off. We showed we were capable of perhaps competing with the top side and more than matching it. I think on that note. And that's the thing for us about going back to the game, what it is. Consistency is something that does take time. It does take time. Unfortunately, we've got time to push that a little bit quicker. If we can be consistently better than we've been, consistently competitive in games, then we will win the games. Let's be honest with you, in a way realistic, I've said to him, we need at least 20 points before the turn of the year. At least 20 points. If we do that, we've got a chance of getting another 30 before the end of the year. I back this for another 30. Because that's what you need. You need 50 points to stay What's the code? Oh, Katie, yes. What, what's your Catholic situation? Sorry, what, Katie? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> What's your situation? Your midweek work situation? Nothing, it's, it just does as it pleases. Just does as it pleases. That's thankfully over in the next uh, 12, 12 nights I've got to do, and I'm, I'm putting myself in here. Uh, so I am jumping off nights and jumping on to my job, so not, that fu not fully focused already, but I'll be even more intensely fully focused on the job in hand. But while he's been away, I think Wayne Goodison and he's done a great job. Positivity as well, you know, yeah. everyone needs to be positive in and around the players, especially because it does get in the head sometimes. You know, um, players have, have been well drilled with it now. You know, they're all on board, they're all up for the fight. You know where we've got to go. So I can think we can do it as a club. You know, and certainly and pull us out and. and we crack on and let's get it done, let's get the job done. Yeah. The positive thing is we are creating chances now. Yeah. It starts remembering the confidence of the And if you, if you look now, you know, with, with Cade, you've got Chapel Payne who gets, if you look at his goal scoring record, we'll get a lot of goals off this year. We have actually, we've actually had a little bet, haven't we? Buddy? And he's had a bet with it, won't get 20 goals for the end of the season. Um, what's your now, sorry? Yeah, three. Three, three, three and five. And the chance to get goals. Andy will pay though. Andy will. Andy will. Andy will. Give me a problem, it's you. Bill. <laughs> I've recorded oh, it as well, by the way. Yeah. 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 You know, Mike oh. Lopes, two years ago, scored 40 of goals. He's a goal scorer. But he needs to score. He's not playing for the last six yeah, years. So he's he's doing lots of little bit of space. Yeah, he is. So, yeah, we'll get there. Yeah. Quite. Cage another one that, that's always scored goals. Yeah. 
I was quite impressed with John Pritchard as well last week. When did well first half, Rich. Did well yeah, first half. Yeah, yeah, he's three first half. He's another one, you know, he's, he's been at New Mills. He's um, um, not saying the standards. Well, it is different because he's fast and raising the poor side as well, so he's, he's doing a lot of doggy work. But yeah, first yeah. half. I felt there were a bit of something between him and Shelton, like I said, yeah. especially first half. Well, Listen, I'll tell you about Shelton playing him as well. I've had him for seven years. Yeah. And, you know, people, the amount of times I've heard him in my ear is, what well, is he doing on the pitch? And then, look, see you, it's 2-1, game yeah. over. You well, know, one, so, one of the last time we had played. Yeah, 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 so, for all his faults, he, he, he's a top, top guy. He's a lovely, lovely man, because that's all I deal with. don't deal with idiots. Yeah. He... he He's a gentleman and he will win you, and I'll tell you again now on film, Andy, he will score 20 goals and keep Man United up this year. Well, don't forget, the 50, the 50 quid will go to a charity. I'm going to talk to you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I don't believe that at all. It will be something out, it will go. It will go, it will go to a charity. Back back back. Back. charity of our choice. Well, back pocket charity. Back back back. charity if he scores his 20 goals, that means we've survived. <laughs> and yeah. I'd be glad to pay, you know what I mean? Yeah. See, there's a method in that money, so I'm going to give 50 quid to charity now, yeah? Okay. So I'm telling you something now. <laughs> Play two witnesses and it's on film. Yeah, it is. <laughs> <laughs> well, I actually got, actually got the actual bet. Um, yeah, you did see him, yeah. Uh, and Andy was discussing it two weeks ago, and I got it. Ah. The bet. And he said the 50 quid. He's got 20 goals, and we need that 20 goals to keep us up, and it stays us up in this league. That is well worth the bet to me. Yeah, of course it is. Of course it is. It's not just me. I'm telling you, man. Um, have we any more questions? Round, is it? <laughs> <laughs> well, that one. Just, uh, thanks to Wayne, to Gary, and to Ed Jet uh, for your time. And thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.